data analysis, and the regression tool in Excel. Let's see how it works. Use the same data set previously used in the curve fitting video. Before any analysis is done, we must first make sure that the data analysis tool pack is installed. If the data analysis tool pack is not installed, here is how to find it. Go to the file tab, select options. In the options window, select the add-ins and choose the analysis tool pack. Make sure to select Go and not OK. Click the Data Analysis checkbox and then click OK. Now that the tool pack is installed, let's do some analysis. We know that the discharge Q equals some coefficient C multiplied by the square root of the head H. Let's find the best fit value of C using a linear regression option found in the analysis tool pack. First, set up a column for the square root of H. Drag the function down to fill in the column. Now we can use the regression tool. Make sure to select the option to set constant to zero and to plot the residuals. Does the plot of the residuals show any trends? Also, notice the coefficient column. The coefficient C equals 1.22 times 10 to the negative fifth. The linear regression tool is a way of comparing theoretical equations with experimental data. Using the slope intercept form of the linear equation, substitute discharge Q for Y, the constant C for the slope M, and the square root of the head for X. If the head equals zero, then discharge equals zero, so the Y intercept B is zero. Plot the discharge versus the square root of the head and fit the data with a linear trend line. Remember y is the discharge and x is the square root of the head. So the slope of the line is the value for the constant c. It's very different compared to the constant for a power function, but notice the discrepancy in the exponent of the power function compared to the theoretical equation. By forcing x to equal the square root of h, the constant is a better fit for the discharge of the equation, even though the r-squared value indicates a less accurate curve fit. 